Welcome, General. I'll show you how to be better at Storm Islands if you haven't played the event much. Be one of the 10 winners who will receive 20,000 rubies. All you have to do is subscribe, write the following details in the comments, and please vote in the community tab for the next video. Join the event as soon as you can. It's important because it puts you in the middle of the map and allows you to reach all forts faster after the other players have joined. You can choose which castle you want to start with. Choose the expensive non-ruby one. As you go out, demolish all the useless buildings which are the following. Upgrade your keep, do the expansions. Then put down decorations to increase your public order by increasing your food production. Basically, you need to do two things during the event. Either get aquamarines to buy valuable rewards or build and upgrade ships to get more cargo points. You can also gain load points on all fortress attacks. Under rewards, you will see that there are both alliance and individual rewards. And within the best alliance, storm titles are awarded to the players who have contributed the most aquamarines to the clan's achievement. How much aquamarine you get from a fortress depends on several things, but now you can easily understand. The most important factor is the level and type of fort. There are level 40, level 50, level 60, level 70, and level 80 forts on the map, and there are several types within those. Here, you can see which fortress will give you how much basic aquamarine. Don't be alarmed as you can quickly determine the type. Find a fort, click on spy, but don't send it. Check how many guards it has, and you'll know. Go to the hall and put points on this skill. You can also see my full point allocation here. Go to the King's Market and hire the Marauder. During a Baramond event, the top 100 players will get extra loot capacity against non-player targets. Research with the Research Tower and General Alyssa's ability can also help. Or the Commander, of which the non-relic type is the best. The relic version has a lower maximum effect you can achieve. The question is how many troops to attack with. You don't need thousands of troops to take all the aquamarines from a fortress, you just need 500 or 800. Of course, it depends on what kind of troops you attack with. I found a summary table that shows how much these things matter. On Storm Islands, the most important thing is the speed at which the army travels. The faster troops should be used, such as samurai troops or nomad wolves. When attacking with such troops, do not carry any equipment so as not to reduce the speed of the army. However, you can also use veteran or mead troops in combination with equipment, reducing casualties but increasing the chance of your ship returning empty. Upgrading your ship will significantly speed up your armies, but you would have to re-upgrade every event, which not everyone can afford. But if you're really active, it can be worth it. Of course, for a commander, travel speed is also important, along with the capacity to loot. You can easily increase your aquamarine storage capacity by upgrading your storehouse. And if you are worried about losing your aquamarines, you can protect them with the hideout. Since the last update, you can buy things that are good again. I can't recommend specific things as everything is worth it at certain levels. If you don't have a lot of bigger decorations, it might be worth buying them. Or buy the smaller coin packs. Spend all your aquamarines before the end of the event, as the moon storm with your castle will bring your points and aquamarines down to zero. Your decorations will go back to the warehouse. They're basically you take an island before other players, and then after a certain amount of time, you get aquamarine, wood, or stone from it. Here again, fast travel speed matters the most. Thanks for your attention. Please like the video if it helped and leave a comment if you have any questions. Have a nice day.